Well, welcome back to Little Bent Ranch. So, tonight, uh, we're in the western part of Ohio, because I got a D19. I saw it on Marketplace, and once I saw the tires, I just had to have it. So, we drove down, it was, I don't know, about a little over four hours or so to come get it. And uh, we have got all the hood panels, uh, gas tank, and all the other little stuff that's, that's not on it. Actually, Dad's carrying over a hood panel right now. But as you can tell, it's got a beautiful set of 18434 Field and Road Firestones on the power adjust wheels this time. My other D19, they're on the uh, double bevel wheels. So this one's a hair different than my other D19. This one's actually a snap coupler tractor. My other one's got the, the pin in draw bar and it's a little bit different design right here, but it all works. But yeah, it's a good video or good, good tractor and we'll probably see you when I get back home. So, like I said, it's uh, next morning we got back home. Uh, it was... 20 after midnight, I think, by the time we got back home. Uh, it was a good trip. Besides, the roads were rough. We came back, uh, what was that, Route 2? 20. Yeah, the Route 20. Up through Sandusky and then the 90 through Cleveland there. Every bridge crack is bang, bang, bang. But other than that, it was a good trip. So, obviously, like I said, I got all the tin... Is all there. Two gas tanks. One of them must be iffy. You know what I mean? This one right here has got some stuff in it. Like plugs. You know what I mean? So. it act, And it sounds like he's got stones in it or something. To help try to clean it up some. Uh, this one from what I can see just looking in it. With my flashlight looks really good. Uh, then there's the gas tank strap uh the side panels and the hood panels um oh well then there's a fuel gauge up there you can see it next to my hose yeah well i do see a gas cap there too i think i don't remember if there was one of them or not but uh the tractor's in really good shape i mean the nose cone's got a couple things a couple dents nothing serious though it's better than my other D19. That one rolled into the tractor they were pulling it out of the shed with. So, it dented in the nose cone kind of bad on that tractor. But yeah, I'm, I'm tickle pink with the tires, I can tell you that. Right there. They are brand new old tires. This one's, like I said, a snap coupler tractor. But uh, the reason I think it was taken apart is you literally have to take that much stuff off a D19 to get the gas tank off. So I think the one gas tank is so full of stuff that he took it off and was cleaning it and maybe found a different one while he was doing it. I don't know exactly how that worked out yet. But uh, I'm going to get that one tank that I think is good. I need to make a gasket for it for the fuel gauge because i got like i said i have the gauge there stick that down in there and yeah see see what i can come up with with that uh, i know the only thing in this actually i have a question for you guys who have i mean this is my second d19 but right up there though that's the fuel line it goes down to the pump, then the other one goes over to the carburetor. How do you guys make them run with a fuel pump? I, my other D19, granted the tank isn't spotless in that one either, but when I ran the fuel pump, all it did was wash the fuel bowl out and put every speck of everything that was in the fuel bowl into the carburetor. So all I did was ended up running just a steel line over to it. I did the fuel pump delete. And I have to run five gallons of gas in that tractor all the time, no matter what. 
So I usually put 10 in it, you know what I mean? But I'm just wondering how you guys make them run with that fuel pump. I mean, they should be able to. Maybe maybe this tank will end up cleaner and I won't have an issue. But if you have some information on that, leave a comment down below. But, uh, oh, power director seems perfect. Brakes seem perfect. I just wanted to mention that while I was looking at it. But, uh, yeah, I am going to grab that one fuel tank out and see what happens. So I'll bring you back when something exciting happens. So focused on the gas tank. Um, I need, and I'm going to do this next. I forgot to, to say it. Uh, Dad and I tried to roll her over. She acts kind of stuck. It doesn't act like it's locked up stuck. It just kind of acts like... So the story, or the what the guy was telling me, it was his dad's tractor, dad's barn, the whole nine yards. And he got the tractor... Look, it built the barn 22, 23 years ago and bought the tractor soon after that. Actually, um, he, the son didn't know how his dad even got the tractor home. We never had a truck and trailer like that. But uh, he parked it in there and started taking it apart to make it. It was supposed to be a retirement fixer-up project and his health fell, so he never actually got to it. So it's been sitting for let's just say over 20 years so i'm going to pop plugs out pop the valve cover off and make sure she doesn't have a stuck valve when we try to roll her over i'm gonna squirt some diesel down each of the cylinders to try to let her soak just so if she is kind of set up just from sitting i'm hoping she frees herself up versus having to break her loose to a point you know, at least she'll have some lubrication in the cylinders i should say so I'm going to do that next, then I'll worry about this. But, as you can... Here, let me do this. Yeah, that ain't... This one ain't, don't look too bad. It looks a little little rustier than I kind of would have expected to see on the bottom. Oh, you don't need a flashlight, but... And that tank uh, bracket bent. But, I don't know. I don't know why it would be bent. But, yeah, so... I'm going to do that first, then I'll work on getting this ready. I think I think this one's going to be better than the other one. I'm still going to check it, but this one sounds like it's got less stuff in it. So I'll bring it back in just a little bit. So I'm getting her dumped off the trailer right now because it's getting hot. I'd rather get it in the shop in the shade. And plus, uh, tomorrow we're actually going pulling again. So I uh, kind of need the truck and trailer. So I figured it'd just be easier just to get her dumped off. Right now I got the winch holding it. I'll let her down off with the winch. The gas tanks, the one that looks more like the primer gas tank, I'll show you at some point. Uh, it got these little tiny rocks in it that the guy was using to clean up the tank, I'm sure. But they are a pain to get out. I can't believe it. I've tried even washing it out, and I can't get the rocks to come out. They're still, when you get them all in one spot, it's probably an inch deep still. And I've got half of them out, I think, but I don't know, that's kind of fighting me right now. Let's go let her down with the winch. This tractor's so wide, you literally have to scoop iron on the outside of the rubber rail. There, I'm up by her now. I got the C sitting there. I figured uh, we'll get her let down and the C, I can pull it right from that end of the building or right in and around. Well, I can get her in that door, I should say, but the C will come out, you know what I mean? Smaller tractor. I don't know why they put KC lights on it, but uh, they each do their own. And I 
think I'm gonna pull that cable out of here more so I can get her wound back up nicer because I might not use it again for the winter. So I'd like to not have it sit there kinked over itself. So get that pulled in. Yeah, this should work out pretty well. All right, so I, we got her running now. As you can tell, and she sounds really smooth, don't she? We uh, headed the shop, did what we needed to do, uh, you know, clean the carburetor, uh, put new plugs in it. Uh, right now I have it just running on a boat tank because that tank is full of that stuff I was talking about. So I got it set in there, but I didn't, didn't, didn't get it cleaned out yet, you know what I mean? So just put it on a boat tank. But she runs really smooth. So, I am tickled pink with it. We had it running up to the shop. And uh, she fired right up. The battery's half dead. Plus, I sprayed some PB blaster on the cylinders. So, the starter didn't like to roll it over. So, we pulled it with the track with the... 45 over there to get her running first thing and once you fire it up we uh pulled it down shut it off pulled it down here because we couldn't see any water in the radiator so brought it down here and it didn't take nothing and it was full of water so that's good on water i did drain a hair bit off the bottom of the oil pan it had like condensation from sitting for so many years but other than that Everything else, the uh, power steering, I can hear it trying, but I think she's out of oil, would be my guess. So, I'll check that. Um, uh, get up here in the seat. Director snaps in nice. Real nice. That's third. I mean, this tractor, you know, you can see that. It shows it's only got, there you go, 3,600 hours on it. So, she really shouldn't be too wore out. I mean, that's fourth gear right there. wants us to try to pull the boat and see what she does make sure the clutch is good
that's really nice and tight, isn't it? Yeah, I think it popped out of third gear. Yep, the normal. Yep. Yep. Well, second seems good. For the one guy that was watching the channel that uh, had a D19, I'll show you how the hubs are on this one too. We've never taken them apart, but it should be just these three bolts and probably some heat to get that apart. That's how it looks on the inside. So you say yours is bad on the outside in here. One guy we pulled with, I don't, we didn't get the right keyway in or what, but he, he had his apart and then the first time he pulled, it ended up the keyway was gone and things were spinning. So I don't know what was going on with his keyways though. Other than that, it seems to run pretty darn smooth. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's go check, make sure the power director, the rear end, let's go all check all that fluids. And, yeah.